egos are killing our opportunities. Our egos are killing our dreams. Our egos are stopping us from leveling up. All right. Get your ego under control. It's not your mixes. Trust me, it's not your mixes. It's your ego. DJs, it's your ego. You got to get your ego in check, man. Seriously. That's what's, that's what's killing us, man. It's stopping us from networking. It's stopping us from, well, we're meeting the right people, but we're not even connecting due to our ego. The things that are coming out of our mouth, the things that we're saying, the way we're projecting certain thoughts onto other people, it's not healthy. You got to get your ego in check. All right. And for those that don't know what ego means, look it up. Seriously. Some people really need to look it up. Whether I give you the definition or not, you're probably not going to take it from me. So look it up. Do yourself a service and look it up. But seriously, DJs, your ego is killing you from opportunities and networking and connecting with the right people to go to the next level. Some DJs really think they're up here. And they're not, you know, and it's, it's good to have great confidence, self-esteem, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about ego. All right. I mean, it's good to feel sure of self, but it's important to know thyself. And a lot of DJs really don't know who they are. Some think they're him or, or she, and they're really it. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but seriously. We got to get our egos in check. I mean, a lot of times we're in front of the right people we want to network with. And that could be fellow DJs, which I feel like the DJ community, we treat each other terribly. Terrible. I mean, we're resources. We're literally tools for each other to show people how to level up. There's so many opportunities out there. I mean, no DJ plays the same, plays the same exact way. There's opportunities for everybody out there to make it and get it. But when DJs ask other DJs questions, especially I, I see it with beginner DJs and a lot of the online platforms, man, I'm telling you, some of those comments, man, they are crazy. If some, some of you DJs will go back and read some of the comments that you make to other DJs, be honest, if you, if, you know, if you were the other DJ asking the question, how would you feel? Whether you feel the question is stupid or not. We are, again, we are, we're resources. We are resources, whether you like it or not. And also, most importantly, we are in the product, you know, we're the service, product service business. You know, our product is DJing, you know. It's DJ service, but also we're, we're promising to provide a lifetime experience, especially when it comes to weddings, because most people don't get married twice. So you have one impression to kill it and prove. Get your ego in check, man. You know, you didn't get the gig. It's good to sound confident, but don't be cocky with it, man. And also networking with other DJs. Be open. You trust me, you don't know everything. I don't know everything. I, I've learned a lot from many DJs and I'm gonna big them up. You know, big shout out to B, uh, DJ Rachel, aka Rachel Lynch out there in uh, Connecticut. Learned a lot watching her on social media. Of course, big shout out to DJ Dre Ovale. I learned so much from watching him and it's crazy. We, I crossed paths with him, you know, through, uh, through Facebook, I actually uh, hired him to, um, I do a, a DJ for a Lidl, a grand opening, two grand openings the same day, same time. So I can't be, you know, in two places at one. And I hired him to do the grand opening. You know, I put the posting in a group. His response was super professional. Uh, sent, sent me a website, greeted me when he came, you know, when he sent me a message. And uh, of course, I felt very comfortable after I checked his website out, uh, looked, checked his mixes, how he presented himself, I felt very comfortable hiring him. I knew he was the DJ for the job. You know, he didn't come at me and say, oh, I got um, I'm this, I'm that. 
you know, I've done this or that, or nobody's messing with me, or, you know, <laughs> no DJ can top me. I'm the, no, he didn't. He came at me very professional as if, you know, I'm a client. He's trying to secure services. So he spoke to me in a professional manner. And of course, I checked him out. He was great. I booked him. And uh, to this day, man, like I, I would recommend him to anybody, 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 any type of event, anybody, the utmost professional. All right. And his ego list, man, egos in check, man. You know, even even I interviewed him recently and, you know, he could he could turn it down. But, you know, why not? It's an opportunity. You no. Know? Why not? Some DJs would just turn it down like, oh, I'm not going to get on his podcast. It's like promoting him or making him look good. And no, it's an opportunity for both people. One, for you to express yourself and talk about your business and how you do business. Because I'm going to put that out and people will see it. And hopefully they will book you, you know. Or also other DJs are watching you and they're learning from you. All right. We got to get our egos in check, man. Again, egos are killing our opportunities. Our egos are killing our dreams. Our egos are stopping us from leveling up. All right. Get your ego under control. 